We recently covered the perplexing, yet little shared ancient artifact which can be found at the ancient site of Patara. We cover the fact that some of the inventions accredited to the Romans within the modern day may have been borrowed concepts with origins located far within our distant past. As with the supposed ancient Egyptian sites on the Giza Plateau, many ancient ruins contain megalithic blocks whose movement into position not only evades modern explanation, but lacks any detailed recording of the mammoth task by any of these so-called culprits for constructions. Rather, it seems a worldwide conspiracy has occurred. It is well known that history is written by the victor. Maybe this is a fitting explanation for the academic ignorance witnessed on a daily basis. Perhaps it's laziness on the part of academics, put with the task of explaining these sites. Or perhaps as we have detailed on many, many occasions, a covert effort to occult the truth from modern society. Our claim is not made lightly, but upon the witnessing of talented individuals having their careers and future opportunities crushed at the hands of those who fund and therefore steer academic study in the directions of their pleasure. The stolen artifacts which tell of this story, the vast documented efforts of the many organizations around the world, tasked or rather funded to gather, pillage or steal all such items, merely to paint a picture they are told to. But the truth remains, human history is far more interesting than you have been led to believe. But be warned, paradigm destruction can often be distressing. In the popularly regurgitated marketed phrase, Roman columns, after being presented with the following evidence, may begin to feel more like programming than historically truth. The Baalbek Trilithon, a group of three horizontally lying stones which form part of the podium of the Roman Jupiter Temple of Baalbek, Lebanon. Numerous archaeological expeditions have gone to the site, starting in the 19th century, primarily German and French groups and research continued into the 20th century. Each of these stones is 70 feet long, 14 feet high, and 10 feet thick, weighing around 800 tons each. And conveniently, each of these modern academic studies concluded the same thing, completely absent of any explanation as to their placement. The entire foundation of this ancient structure is unexplainable, with a number of stones weighing over 350 tons, thus indicative of lost knowledge not modern architecture. It should seem obvious that to declare otherwise would be foolish, yet this is what's witnessed all over the earth every day. And we are yet to mention the world-famous, yet equally perplexing stone of the pregnant woman, also at Baalbek, and weighing in at an astonishing 1,000 tons. As Yuri Muzik put it, quote, in 27 BC, the Roman Emperor Augustus supposedly took the unfathomable decision to build in the middle of nowhere the grandest and mightiest temple of antiquity, having no obvious reasons for selecting Baalbek as the temple's building site. The much greater erosion of the big Baalbek blocks qualifies as material proof of their much greater age." End quote. It seems that as we suspected, the evidence is mounting to support the far more logical claim that an advanced lost civilization's heritage has been stolen by different, more modern civilization all over the world. A great civilization did once flourish here on Earth, one which has been actively suppressed, stolen from, exploited, and hidden for far too long. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care. We recently covered the astonishing precision cut ancient ruins which can be found at Puma Punku within Bolivia. Once an enormous city complex, which still possesses some incredible features. One of the more controversial of these still surviving attractions is undoubtedly the Wall of Humanity. During the 1960s, archaeologists employed by the Bolivian government excavated a temple at Tiahuanaco. Within the walls of the courtyard, hundreds of stone heads were discovered, all with a diverse range of features masterfully built into the architecture. A once perfectly constructed wall, adorned with a variety of different faces, each now believed by a number of independent researchers to represent the different tribes and civilizations which could be found upon our planet at the time. If proven true, it is clearly a controversial reality for academia to explain. How can a wall, supposedly built by the Incas, display faces from all corners of the world? built by people who never traveled intercontinentally. 
Or does the wall of humanity further support the premise of a world-going advanced civilization actually having once built such sites? Furthermore, and perhaps the most intriguing detail surrounding this ancient artifact, is the addition of two heads made of a noticeably different material that, instead of displaying a possible lost tribe, appears to actually represent what many would now identify as grey aliens. The question is, if the Wall of Humanity does indeed represent the different tribes which could be found all over the world at the time of its creation, then who, or indeed what, do these two faces represent? Are the ancient alien theories true? Did an extraterrestrial race not only once visit our planet, but actually called it home? Clearly an astonishing ancient artifact which demands more alternative research.